this is a Tesla Cybertruck running on Minecraft. What the heck? But can you run Minecraft on a Tesla? Oh boy. See, I've been able to run Minecraft on my 14 year old iPhone 3GS, as well as my 24 year old iMac G3, which honestly was a small nightmare. But see, I'm not the only one playing with Minecraft Fire if you will. Absolute legends all over the internet are creating and running Minecraft on a bunch of insane things. From Game Boys to the Wii, and even a scientific calculator, which is literally insane. But look, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel like I'm being left behind. Or to put it dramatically, I feel like I'm being left in the dust of those absolute mad lads. So to keep up with those legends, I have to take things to the next level and do something only a few people have done before me. Answering the age old question, can Minecraft run? on a Tesla. I mean, it's just a giant computer on wheels, right? How hard could it really be? Well, I would love to find out, but I don't, I don't have a Tesla, but I know someone who does. So I packed my bags, got on a plane and flew myself 24 hours from sunny Australia all the way to the beautiful town of Nashville, Tennessee. And this is a Tesla Model Y. My best mate Gabriel surprised my other best mate Jess with this Tesla. So Jess and Gabe, if I break this thing, well, yeah, I can't, I can't break this thing because I spent all of my money to get here. I mean, look, surely, surely Minecraft can't break a Tesla. How do oh, you feel about this? If I can't get it to work, we came a long way, dude. That's gonna suck. To avoid doxing my friends, I had to move the Tesla to an undisclosed location. Sounds simple, right? I feel like I'm in a race car right now. After accelerating quickly enough to give my wife consecutive mini heart attacks Oh sh shivers and timbers <laughs> I finally got the hang of it <sighs> Alright, we made it. We did it. I'm not gonna lie, that was too much pressure I have always wanted to do this <laughs> Just like that. I did that Did you do that? Yeah, because I pressed that You opened it just then? Yeah Whoa, that was a good transition. You. you should do that again <sighs> Well, yeah, that was good <laughs> What we're gonna try and do is open Minecraft Classic, just straight up in the browser. I just need to find where that is. Browser, okay. <laughs> I'm just searching Minecraft Classic. I just wanna know if it runs. Wait, <laughs> this whole video is gonna be a minute long. I was able to get Minecraft loaded up without any trouble. It even loaded the world, which is honestly crazy. This is a car, this is a car. We're talking about a car here. <laughs> Maybe I'm just getting old and the world is moving too fast. Oh man, I'm getting old for real, hey. I don't think this whole video is done yet. We do have a big problem, which is... <laughs> Minecraft Classic requires a keyboard and mouse. And unfortunately, the Tesla doesn't support keyboard or mouse input. Because of that, we can't put our name in and hit start. Unfortunately, Minecraft Classic doesn't support controllers, but Tesla's inbuilt games do. <gasps> it shows it. It shows the controller connected. That's so fun. All right, here we go. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for the, the ambiance. <sighs> I feel like I'm in Tennessee. Do you feel that? I'm just waiting for Hannah Montana to roll up. You feel that? <laughs> uh, but I can see why the community wants new games on the Tesla because yeah, nothing's really piquing my interest. Nothing's really catching my eye. Elon bro, we need Minecraft on the Tesla. There's gotta be another way to play games on the go. And what we're about to try could be the answer. Something I'm really keen to try is cloud gaming. So let's see if GeForce Now works, which is that's pretty promising. Agree and continue. That's pretty cool. It actually looks like it's loading. Streaming games is not supported in this browser. Well, that's not good. That's okay though, because we can still try Xbox Cloud Gaming. Xbox is Microsoft. Microsoft is Minecraft. This could be my easiest video yet. Take that, calculator guy. I'm kidding, that guy's my hero. So I logged into Xbox Cloud Gaming, hit the search tab like a champ, and wait, where's Minecraft at? Xbox only seems to have Minecraft Dungeons and Minecraft Legends. That's weird, right? We should still give cloud gaming a go on the Tesla. If I just press play and maybe it will work. That's pretty sick. Oh my gosh, look at those fingerprints. That's pretty sick, dude. So the biggest thing will be lag. Whether the internet can handle it and whether the Tesla display can handle it. I've seen a few videos of this and it's not super great, but oh, that's a little laggy, but that's not bad. I'm honestly pretty impressed right now. This is crazy. Oh boy, I haven't played Fortnite in a long time. This could be messy. Let's see what this lag is like, you ready? You know what? Just playable, but there's no way you're gonna win a game like this. <laughs> Wait, 
This is pretty impressive. That's kind of crazy. This is a car. This doesn't need to do this. I'm just playing Fortnite real quick. What the heck? Fortnite, what? Wait, you're straight up playing Fortnite on a Tesla <laughs> screen. What the heck? <laughs> Never see. <laughs> Can you see? Where is he? Bob, take it. Don't give me that. The lag, oh. it's not good. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's not good, dude. I forgot how to play, too. Look. Where? Oh, oh, shoot. My bad, bro. I'm sorry. Hey, you play 91, dude. That's oh. insane. Like, it's not good, but it's not bad. It's cloud gaming on a Tesla is actually kind of sick. It runs significantly better than I thought it would. I'm using a PS5 controller to play Xbox cloud gaming on a Tesla. That feels illegal for some reason. Look, <laughs> as sweet as it is to be playing Fortnite on a Tesla, it's still no Minecraft. And if I'm gonna outshine those other lads, I have to go back to the drawing board. And would you believe it? After doing a little bit more research, I think we may have found the answer to running Minecraft on a Tesla. But I'm not gonna lie, it's uh, it's not pretty. First things first, I don't have a keyboard and mouse with me and it seems kind of silly to hold my MacBook and play on this screen just to use the Tesla screen. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. So what I'm doing is I'm connecting the PS5 controller to my MacBook and then I'm just gonna put the MacBook in the back and hopefully that just works. We've been here for four hours. Have we been here for four hours? Nah, it's been like two. The way I'm gonna do it is using Google's remote desktop. I just have to log into my Google account. And once I'm logged in, I should be able to see my MacBook on the screen. I have a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. You guys can't see Chelsea trying not to smile. Good news, it shows my MacBook online. Honestly, we're just gonna send it. Are you ready? With everything connected, the only thing left to do was to open Minecraft and connect the Tesla to my MacBook. I've got Minecraft running here. <laughs> All right, good start, good start. And the results are underwhelming, to say the least. <laughs> it's almost not playable. <laughs> it's really bad, isn't it? I mean, honestly, at this point, why would anyone want to do this? I mean, I don't know what I expected. My MacBook is streaming to a Google server and then back down to the Tesla browser. I probably should have known better. <laughs> Every now and then it gets pretty good. That's actually not bad. That's pretty close to like what I would expect. Oh, there's a cow. Oh my good Lord. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh no, it just connected. Well, that's the end. <laughs> but this can't be the end. Surely, there's a better way to stream Minecraft to the Tesla without all that lag. So I spent the next morning researching all my options. And with my flight home only a few days away, I really had to make this work. Or surely, there's a way to remote desktop from my MacBook to the Tesla using only a local network, hopefully removing this insane amount of lag. Well, you know what? Maybe. Just maybe. So here's how I'm hoping this works. Please God. I hope this works. First we'll connect the Tesla and my MacBook to my iPhone and treat it like a router. Then we'll use the MacBook's inbuilt screen sharing software and treat the Mac as like a server, like a web server. That way we should be able to use the Tesla's browser to access the Mac using only a local server so that we have minimal lag and latency. Hopefully doing that means we can play Minecraft. This is so silly. <laughs> I guess we just have to see how well it works. And jump in. Oh boy, this better work. Okay, so we're gonna use the same app we used yesterday to try and make everything full screen. Okay, good, 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 good. And remember, again, this is not connecting to the internet. This is just using my MacBook as a web server. So hopefully there's no latency. Let me bring up Minecraft. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Uh, Jess and Gabe, just gonna... So essentially, this is gonna load up a website my MacBook is hosting. Let's see if that works. Here we go. All right, let's try this. Custom URL, we're gonna do... Don't know why. Sheesh kebab. All right, so we found out that the problem is the iPhone, the iPhone hotspot as a security measure doesn't let different devices talk to each other. So it can't really act as a router. Stitch up. But what we can do is use my MacBook as the server and the router. And hopefully that limits the amount of different devices. And now we should be able to connect this, not to Chelsea's iPhone, but to Zachary's MacBook Pro. We've got everything on the same network now, please. I had spent a hot minute trying to find the best way to remote desktop my MacBook to the Tesla locally and nothing was loading. It's not looking good, lads. I don't know why it doesn't like it. 
It doesn't want to. It doesn't like it. I'm just trying to... Should not enter a sensor. Okay. But it should still load. You know what I mean? Do I look more tired right now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So technically, everything could work. But for some reason, and I guess it kind of makes sense from like a security point of view, Teslas don't actually allow local IP networks, which is how I was planning on connecting the computer to the car. So I don't really know what to do now. What you're looking at here is the face of a defeated full-grown adult who has spent the last few days trying to run Minecraft on his friend's Tesla. And sure, technically it worked with remote desktop. There was even a few times where it seemed pretty promising. But with frames like these, this kind of feels like an L. And I think it's barely enough to keep up with those other legends. I'll catch up to you one day, lads. We got so close. Alright, let's go park the car.